Incredible Ireland. Hi there, good afternoon. So the uh, destination for today is the Cliffs of Moher. Another day here in Irish cloudy paradise, enjoying the uh, change in the weather from the uh, bright hot sunshine down in the Mediterranean where I was uh, before coming to Ireland. Hello. But before the Cliffs of Moher, got something else to see. Here we go, Dunguire Castle from the 1500s. Nice one, reconstructed. Here on Galway Bay, I stayed in Galway the past two nights and I'm heading out uh, that way. Next I will go to a uh, abbey that looks really interesting, a ruined abbey, and then get out to the cliffs. Looking forward to seeing that, one of the uh, top places to visit in Ireland. So here we go. Dungaware. <laughs>
So look at this. Corkum Row Abbey. The cool thing is that the road down here, not this one, but uh, the other one, is called Abbey Road, as in the Beatles album. Not the one that the uh, album is named after, of course, that is in London. But uh, that is a impressive building there. Built around 1200. A tragic story along with it. The uh, five designers of the building, after it was completed, the uh, man, I guess a priest or something, who had uh, commissioned the uh, building, killed all of the uh, five architects in order to make sure that they wouldn't design another better building afterwards that would rival this. That's some uh, terribly uh, ironic and hypocritical spirituality there, huh? For a priest to uh, do something like that. I walked past this dog earlier and it was so skittish. Hey buddy, warming up to me yet? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Check, check me out. Yeah. Come on, fella. Come on. Yellow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What part are you from? Northern California, Never USA. Uh, San Francisco, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My buddies have to go back to uh, Maryland. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to do on the West Coast. Right? I've, I've never been there. I have heard of it though. Never been to Maryland. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, North Carolina, North, North California. Yep. You're heading for San the, Francisco. Uh, Seattle. I lived in Portland, uh, Oregon for a while. All right, okay. Um, yeah, been up to Seattle and stuff, but uh, yeah, San Francisco is kind of on the way up there. So you're so. doing the tour of Ireland. Exactly, renting a car down here and uh, just uh, driving all over. Oh, my buddy and I Loving went, it. My buddy and I went all the way to Donegal. That's where I started, actually. Well, yeah, sure. uh, Dublin, of course, and then uh, drove up to Donegal, and then right, uh, right, coming down. down. Yep, cliffs of Moher, or Moher, or Moher. 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 Yeah, cliffs uh, of Moher, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, uh, probably head back. We've, uh, we've sold them now, they sold them last year to the Yanks. You, you what? We sold them last year to the Euro crowd. You, you sold the, the cliffs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Expensive piece of property, huh? down to us, Cork, Terry. Okay. Yeah, that's you're, where, that's where your head is. you're from right around here? Or? Yeah, from around here, yeah. Alrighty. Around the corner. Okay. Alright. Nice to talk with you. Have you. you too. Thank you. That's my car. Nobody else here. Got it all to myself. Amazing. The Irish language there? Corcoran Row Cistercian Monastery was founded in this remote valley in the late 12th century. The Cistercian Order came to Ireland in 1142 and preferred isolated and underpopulated locations for its monasteries. Nowhere is this more obvious than at Corcoran Row, where the monastery stands in a small, fertile valley surrounded by barren rock surfaces. It was founded in 1194 by Donal Moore O'Brien, King of Thomond, who built many churches. Okay, so a king, not a priest.
look at this. I'm not even sure what it is yet. Some old tower. So this is called the Muckinish West Tower House. It looks like it was bigger at one time and then just collapsed, broke apart. The castles are just dime a dozen in Ireland. I read on one website that there are apparently like 30,000 castles in Ireland, including, of course, smaller little things and various towers and whatnot, but uh, that is a staggering number of old castle-like ruins. There you go, you get a better idea of the uh, previous building. Building as it was long ago with uh, large rooms. But how far did it stick out this way? How much bigger was it? Maybe it was just a square? Big old block there. Crazy. I would love to know what day, what date, what year did that big chunk fall off of the building? Decades ago, centuries ago? And check it out, you can actually go inside. So this is not a big room here. Would this have been a living space or just a like defensive point? Just the entryway or something? And then uh, I guess stairs going up higher, maybe out here where the stairs. Hard to tell how this, uh, building actually worked, but uh, there is the big room up there. Intense. All right, let's go find the Cliffs of Moher. The Cliffs of Moher are right out there. Visitor center up ahead. It is about six in the evening, getting uh, a little late, but uh, still have some time left for a hike. Go find the O'Brien's Tower. Getting a little glimpse of the cliffs right there. Cliffs of Moher Coastal Walk linking the villages of Liscanor and Doolin. Doolin, Liscanor, 20 kilometers, four to five hours. I won't have time for that, but uh, that would be a really epic hiking experience. We are right there. Let's see how much hiking I can get in, in the uh, waning uh, bit of light here. And here we go, the first view of the cliffs.
pretty astounding. A tower out there. I believe that the O'Brien's Castle is this way, so uh, let's uh, hike up here first and then maybe head down that way as well. There is the O'Brien's Tower. More of a hike down to that. I will definitely go for it. And now doing the hike down this way. Hello. I'm so close to the tower and I really want to see it. However, it is 7.30. I've got a hike back and then a drive back in the direction of Dublin. So this might be my last video of Ireland and also of my whole European summer adventure. I'm supposed to return my rental car tomorrow at noon. So I will uh, make some progress back towards Dublin and uh, see how far I get. Probably end up driving in the night a bit. And so I think I'll just enjoy the uh, view here for a little while and then walk on back and uh, make some progress. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this whole uh, European series. I am considering where I'm going next. A few options. There aren't very many options, you know, left to me at this point. Well, there are 
various uh, options around the world, but as far as anything uh, nearby. So uh, anyway, that is it for now. Take it easy. See you later.